celebrating the spirit of more than 30 schools across Northern Clackamas County. This is NCSD TV. Well, hello, North Clackamas community. We are here at Seth Llewellyn Elementary, a very special morning at Seth Llewellyn. In fact, students are coming out right, right now because we're driving them up a wall. Check out this wall behind me. That's a giant mural that was painted over the summer. It had a lot of input from students. We're gonna dedicate that mural today and find out how it was created in these past few months. Emma worked on this for almost two months this summer, almost two months. And it finished right before all of you came back to school, which is pretty amazing. And I think to kind of celebrate a little bit, we have a special song. Do we have a special song? Yeah. So Mr. Inslee, our music teacher, has put together a special song for our mural. And I think quite a few people in our audience know the song. <laughs> We're here with Emma Berger, the artist behind this mural. Emma, it must have been pretty exciting this morning to see all the kids out here admiring everything that you've done. It was uh, really exciting and really adorable because they're all so happy. But no, it's just very cool because I mean, I was here for months by myself. Uh, and so it's just really nice to actually see it being appreciated by everybody and see like all the kids that get to hang out with it. So. And you mentioned you were here over the summer by yourself. Did this go up piece by piece? How did, how did this come about? Um, kind of a little bit of time and then all at once. That's kind of how it works. It was two straight months of painting. It wasn't in sections. I had a, a giant scaffolding that covered the entire front and um, just started blocking it in like, like you would on a canvas, just a really, really big canvas. <laughs> now we hear that the students were inspiration behind a lot of these designs. How did that work? You've got some student work mixed in there. Oh yeah, I did a student project uh, right before the end of the year and I had them all invent their own flowers and invent their own plants. And uh, I use a bunch of those shapes and colors and designs to actually, they're hidden kind of within. So if you see, like kind of put next to each other, you can actually see where they overlap and where I took inspiration from the kids' work uh, to kind of put their work in the mural as well. What's it like for you knowing that this piece of artwork will be up on the Welling School for generations to come? You can look at that and say, yeah, I did that. Really wild. <laughs> Yeah, just it's it's really cool. I've been doing murals for a long time and it's just it's a really, really special thing to be able to give to a community and brighten their community and beautify a neighborhood and, and it's just so nice that everyone likes it so much. I don't know. It's just a, it's just it's a really special thing that, you know, for the next couple decades my work will be a part of their lives. Well, congratulations on a job well done. I'm just, thank you so much Seth the Welling School for picking me and this is a really, really great project. Okay, if you look really closely at this mural, there are some hidden pictures in here once in a while. Check out these bees on the wall. Now, you know what kind of bees those are? Those are mason bees. Now that's on purpose. The principal at Seth Llewellyn Elementary, Mason B. himself, Mason Brandstetter. We're here with Mr. B. himself, Mason Brandstetter, the principal of Seth Llewellyn Elementary. And Mr. B., you gotta be excited about the morning today. The weather held off, we had all the kids outside. What a great morning at Seth Llewellyn Elementary. An amazing morning. We're able to be here and, and celebrate having this mural completed. And tell us a little bit about the background of this mural. So it's hard to believe that at one time, this was just one giant brown wall. How did it all come about? Uh, so they've been planning the mural for a little over two years uh, and the goal when I got here and working with the PTO was to try to beautify the school, uh, to try to put things uh, in place that were long lasting, uh, that the community can enjoy, that would invite families and kids into school and uh, this was one of the projects we've been talking about for a while was our mural and it turned out awesome. There are a lot of things that uh, are in the mural that represent our school, uh, the ducks and the pond and the creek. Um, so just many things to represent what Llewellyn is as an elementary school. 
And your PTA deserves a lot of credit for this too. They were a lot of the uh, work behind it. Oh, they're amazing. So um, at one point uh, they believed that they needed to pay for a, a new playground. And it turned out that the district was able to put in a new playground for us. So this pot of money that they had, uh, they have chosen to use it to beautify the school. And so um, there's other projects that they've been talking about. One is a musical wall uh, where we would have chimes that hang and kids could uh, go along and play those chimes. But um, this was the first uh, just kind of like a beautification project and something that would be long lasting that they wanted to work on for our school. And I think this too is a great illustration and no pun intended of the fun that kids have coming to element, uh, elementary school and coming to Seth the Well. They're really proud of their school. Oh, for sure, for sure. Uh, they come in the morning with smiles and, and want to be here. And we were just saying like our attendance rate, it's one of our goals this year is to improve our attendance rate and it has been absolutely amazing this year. So. All right, great job by Seth Welling. Mr. B right there. Well, we're here with the brains behind this big mural that's gone up at Seth Welling Elementary. It's the PTA committee behind this. Let's have them all introduce themselves. I'm Erin Lee, Emily Waugh, Charity Jettigan, Elena LeBac. Tell us a little bit the story behind this, how it turned from a big brown wall into now a colorful painted mural for generations to enjoy. Seven, eight years ago, um, I dropped my kid off for kindergarten and I thought that is a big blank wall and it could use some paint on it. And then I met other parents who felt the same way. We started a Llewellyn Legacy Fund where parents got to propose different ideas. We proposed a mural, everyone accepted. We reached out to Portland Street Art Alliance and we met the muralist and I mean, a simple seven year process. Just the simples. It only was seven years in the making, that's right. It was a long and fun process, I think, like of choosing the artist. And I'm really excited that we ended up with Emma because when we were looking at our list of artists in the beginning, there was a heart tug with Emma mm -hmm. in just when we saw her work. And so when she ended up putting in a proposal um, and it was within our budget and we could afford to actually utilize her. Emma said she was out here on a scaffold all summer long. Did you ever come by and check on her to make sure, to see how she was doing? I came by several times and never got, like we never crossed. We but. did, we got to say hi and uh, interrupt her mm -hmm. <laughs> from yeah, her work a little bit. Milkshake one time. We had a couple families too, they would sit in the shade and watch her paint. Um, it was a whole community um, event really. People, you know, noticed her out here with her huge scaffolding. I see pictures that the kids painted, and then I look at the wall, and I can see where um, their artwork influenced Emma's, and it's beautiful, and the kids notice it too, so. There's mama ducks that, that nest here at the school, mm -hmm. um, and the kids love them, and so that was one of the really, like, touching special parts, was that Emma put in the pond and put in mama duck. I think that's one of those ties to the school that is really special to me. There are a lot of Easter eggs. Yeah. yeah, we're so learning about those. Eastern. We're yeah. learning yeah. about those. So we learned the duck, the mason bees, there's a hummingbird that has its significance. So they were telling us all about those kind of things. We love it! Well, the kids have gone back inside. They're learning in the classroom. The dedication is over. What a great morning here at Seth Welling Elementary School as we have dedicated this mural that is full of hidden, interesting things. Kind of like this duck right here. And I guess it's time for us to duck out of this edition of NCSD News. Along with ace videographer Brian McGrew, I'm Curtis Long reminding you there are always great things to see wherever you go in NCSD. And congratulations to Seth Llewellyn Elementary for this beautiful mural. What do you think, Mr. Doc? <laughs>